Just days after six people were killed at the Westfield, Westfield Shopping Centre in Bondi, another horrifying attack has taken place, this time at the other end of Sydney. A much-loved bishop has been stabbed while delivering a live stream sermon at an Orthodox church in Wakeley. A teenager is in custody. Riots erupted overnight. Joining me live now is the Grand Imam of the National President, the National President of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Imam Khalsa. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, first of all, um, there is a police investigation underway, but it appears this young boy has committed this act in the name of your faith. Is that what you're seeing here? Actually, the investigation is uh, taking place and I think we should wait for, let the police come with some conclusion. But as the Islamic teaching is concerned, there's no room for any terrorist activities. We have to be very calm and cool, and we should be very patient. If anything goes wrong or if any, anyone says something wrong, we have to you know, get some explanation rather than you know, taking the, the law in our hands. So this is uh, not recommended by Islam. Islam does not permit anyone uh, to you know, take any action and harm anyone. Islam says that if you kill one person, will be considered that you have killed the whole nation. Islam has given the, the teachings of peace. Islam means peace and Muslim means peacemakers. So as our religion is concerned, I would say that Islam does not permit to harm anyone or attack anyone, whatever the reason is. And uh, at this time, I would also refer to the incident which took place uh, in the last three, four days. One of the members of our community, who was the security guard at that time, he sacrificed his life for the safety of Australian. He has set a very good example. Uh, Faraz Tahir, you can see, you know, he's on my left hand. That was the one who has given his life. And that is, I think, uh, should be appreciated by the media as well. Yeah, indeed. And thank you for that. I was going to mention because I can see that uh, picture you have of him. What do you what can you tell us about Faraz uh, to hear? Because he was a hero, wasn't he? Yes, he was indeed. And that was his first day to do the duty in the daytime before he was giving duty at the night time. But this was the first day and he was very excited. And uh, even he sent his message to his brother that today I'm giving duty on the daytime, but he was very bravely, you know, actually defended and uh, tried his best, you know, to save others. And I think he should be considered, you know, one of the person who safeguarded and did the duty in a proper job and a proper time. Indeed, uh, absolutely. And he is one of those ones that we are certainly uh, thinking of uh, because he is, has lost his life um, in tragic circumstances. and. He was here in Australia for uh, a better life and he should have been afforded that. I spoke to Di Lee before. She is the member for Fowler where the bishop uh, was attacked. She says there's members of the Muslim community now that are scared that there might be reprisal attacks. Are you worried about the same thing? What are you telling your members? Uh, we trust, you know, that our government will take care of those who are the, uh, the troublemakers and I'm sure that Muslim should behave nicely, should uh, present them very peaceful because their name is Muslim, is peaceful. I think they should be calm and cool and they should. we should be united at this time. This is a high time that the whole nation should be united and should not create any problem for the government. Rather than we should be loyal to the country and uh, you know, give the help, whatever help is needed at this stage. Imam, would you like to send the bishop and his congregation any message today? Definitely. I, you know, our <clears throat> sympathy is with them. We are praying for his recovery. And uh, as they are, have been, uh, the, he has been attacked, we are with him. We are praying for his speedy recovery. And uh, we are with him that you know, no one should do anything wrong. And you're <clears throat> presenting the, the wrong idea or wrong understanding of Islam. Islam is very peaceful. And all information, all teaching which we have received so far <clears throat> from the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is very peaceful. 
Even he has given the document to the Christian of uh, Catherines that we, this is the document which gives them forever that Muslims will be protecting the Christians wherever they are. No bishop will be taken away from his duty and no church will be taken to use as a mosque. So this is a document he given to the Christians and I think we should follow that directions which have been given by the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he said, this document is forever. It's not for that time, it's forever. And I think we should understand it. We should be doing exactly what the directions we have received from the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Imam, this attacker seemed to suggest that the bishop had insulted his prophet in some way. Do you know uh, what he might be talking about? Has the bishop ever done that to your knowledge? So far, I don't know actually what he has said it and uh, what okay. made you know the other to react to it. <clears throat> but after, after our our reaction should not be physical. It should be again if he's, if someone says something, then we should say actually rebuttal or refute that idea if he says something wrong against Islam or the Holy Prophet. Not the, you know, take the rule and regulations and law is on our hand and we do punish someone for something. This is, this is not correct. Imam Khalsa, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.